You know, there are some things that just scream it is spring. Uh, you got Dallas blooms at the Arboretum, obviously Easter Sunday services, and of course, well, the Blue Bonnet Festival there in Ennis. And whether you've been before or new to the area and hearing about it for the first time, there is so much to discover. Marielle Ruiz is live in Ellis County with a look at what's going on. Yes, so the whole month of April, people just flock to this area for the Blue Bonnets. And this weekend specifically, the Blue Bonnet Festival. We mentioned over 60 vendors here for this weekend. We're talking about Young Pig. And I've got the owner and chef, Scott Liner. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. So, okay, tell us, you've got a display of your full menu. So give us a rundown of what you've got. Right. Well, we do pulled pork, not barbecue pulled pork, different flavors. We have orange juice flavored, rosemary flavored, coffee flavored, and what's the other one? Tequila flavored, which I'm sure would be popular with most people. But this is a kind of a sample of everything. Everything's a little baked, but our most popular dish is going to be our cowboy, which is our mac and cheese pulled pork. And uh, we just love it. And we try to just enjoy life and enjoy food. I love that. So the cowboy is one of your original uh, dishes and you also give back with the cowboy. Your wife retired educator, your kids are educators. Right. Tell me about how you contribute back. All right. Well, our young pig, if you notice, kind of has a little Charlotte's Web theme to it. And I tell people that's the only book I ever read. So I think it's important literacy. If you can read, you can do anything. That's what our son says. So we take 50 cents for everything that we do with the cowboy and we buy books for kids. We've sold over 11,000 cowboys. We've given away just under 4,000 books so far. I've got another 1,000 to give away. We're just waiting on schools to let us in and give them away. Oh, that's incredible. So what I've heard that you've got a really popular dish here. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hand you the mic. I, I don't hand the mic over to everyone, okay? okay. I'm going okay. to hand over the mic and tell me what it is. All right, these well, are the world famous yum balls. It's fried bread pudding with bacon and whiskey butter sauce. It's a little light on the butter. A little light, that's good, I'm watching. And so, and people go, whiskey? And I'm like, I tell people, my mama said, just like, you know, you water boy, my mama said, <laughs> it ain't a sin if you cook it in. <laughs> so. Scott, I'm going to take go. that back before you do any more okay. water boy <laughs> <laughs> lines there. <laughs> okay, so if you can, please come out. I mean, a lot of these vendors that I've met give back to the community. It's just incredible to see this uh, all come together. And, of course, enjoy the blue bonnets. Tis the season, right? I'm going to send it back into you. It's been a little windy, Pete, uh, but the sun finally out. We had some cloud cover. Uh, is there anything actually popping up on radar? I'm going to go back. Who cares about the radar? All I care about is those those whiskey balls. Those look she, amazing. She needs to stop being a meteorologist. We're <laughs> yeah, interested in it. Uh, it's got bacon in it. That's all I care about. Bacon and whiskey balls. Bacon and whiskey. Manna from heaven. <laughs>